St Mirren 2, Livingston 1 and Alec Grieve was the hero for the Saints here at home to give them their fifth win in the last six games. He scored in the 90th minute with St Mirren down to 10 men in the game and when the ball eventually dropped to him inside the box he swept it home. That gave St Mirren all three points in a game that in the first half was instantly forgettable. In the second half, Saints' first shot and target came in the 69th minute. A lovely cross from Ryan Flynn. There was the header from Keanu Bacchus to give Saints the lead. And then it looked as if there was going to be a turning point in the match. Jason Holt with a shot from the edge of the box. Jonah Ayunga saved it with his hand and he was duly sent off. Up step Sean Kelly from the spot and he blazed it over the bar. It looked as if Livingston at that point we're going to sacrifice all three points, but with uh, only four minutes remaining, they got an equaliser. A lovely ball from Nubley on the left-hand side, bulleted into the back of the net by Bruce Anderson. It could have been a share of the spoils until Grieve intervened in the 90th minute to give 10 man St Mirren all three points. And no surprise, Stephen Robinson singing the praises of his player who travelled a long way back from international duty in Auckland, New Zealand. You know, he's a very humble boy, you know, so, so committed to St Mirren as well. And, you know, he, he done his prep, on, you know, on the plane, watching the videos we sent him, watching the bits and pieces. And, you know, he's, he's got his rewards. And as I say, he's a, he's a great boy with a massive amount of enthusiasm for playing for St Mirren. So, um, yeah, we'll forgive him for that. No surprise, Livingston boss David Martindale was an angry man. He thought Livingston were well worthy of at least a point. Sounds strange, eh? But I think they control of the game for the majority of the game. Only really under any pressure. Our game, we lose two set plays into our box because we don't defend our 18 yard box well enough. And we outnumbered St Mirren in both occasions. We both balls into our box, it was heavy favour and our um, numerical advantage. And fair play to St Mirren, they went and got in the end there. I mean, we 